to show you how to make an omelet. We're not going to make one of those fancy rolled French omelets like you'd see Julia Child or Jacques Pepin make. It's just going to be a humble diner style omelet that's just simply folded in half. So let's get started. Start by cracking three eggs into a mixing bowl. You can add a little bit of hot sauce if you like. Now take a fork, break the yolks, and start whisking. You're going to want to very vigorously beat these eggs. Don't be a wimp about it. For about 30 seconds until it's really combined. And you can't pick apart whites or yolks. Now we're going to add some freshly ground black pepper. Now turn your stove on to medium. Add a little bit of oil. And add our fillings, in this case smoked andouille sausage and scallions. Now you can try and flip them one at a time, which is kind of tedious. Or you can try the chefy thing and try to toss them in the pan to get them all turned. Easy! And then if you're me, you go back and you flip the ones that didn't get flipped. Another toss. Now I'm going to get these out of the pan and onto a plate with a paper towel to absorb some of the oil. This is an easier way to get them out of the pan. And don't worry, I turned the heat off. You're going to notice a lot of oil still left in the pan from the sausage. We're going to want to get rid of most of that. Turn the heat back on to medium low. Add some butter and swirl that around. And now a shot of foaming butter. Add your eggs. Don't let any go to waste. Now start stirring from the outside in. You're going to want to let the eggs set a little bit too. Tilt the pan and stir the eggs away from the edge and let the uncooked eggs flow down into that empty spot. You'll want to do this a few times, every few seconds, until the egg is mostly set. And then I smooth out the unset eggs a little bit across the top. Make sure it's not sticking to the pan. Now we add our fillings onto one half of the omelet. Smooth them out a little bit. I'm going to add some grated sharp cheddar cheese. Again, more or less onto one half of it. Oops, how'd that big guy get in there? We'll crumble him up. And now we'll add some scallion greens and some more black pepper. Gently nudge the omelet towards the front edge of the pan until it's right up near the lip. Then confidently fold it in half. Because it didn't fold cleanly edge to edge, I'm going to flip it over to the other side. It's a key part of cooking is if you make some kind of mistake, hide it. Now we're going to lower the heat down to low just so we can help make sure that egg sets completely on the inside. Let it cook just a little while longer, maybe 30 seconds or a minute, just long enough to make sure that the eggs on the inside of the omelet fully set. Start sliding it out to the edge of the pan and then once it's on the lip of the pan, quickly flip your pan over and slide it out onto the plate. Finish with some garnish, scallions, and a few drips of hot sauce if you like, which I like. And there you are, a good looking omelet, full of delicious fillings and steaming hot. Let's give it a taste. Oh, that's good. Diner omelet, do it.